Wow, I didn't even know that. I'm trying to give you hot tea, but the tea's <laughs> just giving it to me. Wow, hold on. Wow, I need to really get off my seat. I didn't know Amber was involved like this. Oh Lord. No, this is ridiculous. Megan slams Wes and calls him a budget living Chris Brown. Budget version of Chris Brown that he's, <laughs> he's loving. In retaliation to saying, you know, Wes and Arabella are now dating and via celebs go dating, whatever that show's called. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button, please, for daily consistent content. And follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. Do not forget to hit that notification bell, please, so that you guys know as soon as possible when I upload daily, brand new, fresh, sizzling, hot, scrumptious, boiling content. So we've got a lot to get into today. So we have Miss Megan. And the she was on Celebs Go Dating, the episode. I have been reviewing it off and on, but the show hasn't really caught my eye. But obviously with dialogue like this, it's naturally going to get people's attention because that's what we are in tune into, especially with the Love Island so hot. Every other channel wants a piece of what's going on right now. We have Megan who hits out because what she's seeing now is obviously Arabella is going out with Wes and she's very upset and she's infuriated. And she goes and calls him a budget living Chris Brown and it just hits out him. Megan Martin Hansen hits out her ex Wes Nelson tonight as she brutally brands him a budget Chris Brown. This comes just after Wes 21 went public with 2019 idler Arabella Chi as the pair walked hand in hand down the street. During her date on Celebs Go Dating tonight, Megan doesn't waste any time in hitting out her ex who she has already cried over promising her kids in marriage. 25 year old Megan, who has been exploring her bisexuality on the E4 show by dating women, is asked by her date about her relationship with Wes. She says, Basically, I feel like he wanted to have his cake and eat it. He wanted to have me there and date me, but also like me. He's living the life of a budget version of Chris Brown. He was loving life. Megan and Wes broke up whilst he was taking part in Dancing on Ice, amid rumours he was sexing other islanders behind her back. Earlier this week, Megan broke down in tears as she spoke to dating agent Paul Carrick and Anna Williamson about her failed relationship. Crying, Megan said that she felt embarrassed and betrayed after finding out that he was sexting Love Island winner Amber Davies. Wow, I didn't even know that. I'm trying to give you hot tea, but the tea's <laughs> just giving it to me. I feel like he tries to like have his cake and eat it, like he wanted to have me there and date me the all budget version of Chris Brown, like his, <laughs> his loving life. That's not- Give me a kiss. I'll give you a kiss? A kiss? Yeah, if you fancy mm. me. Oh, don't you start with things like that. Megan said, cracks started to appear. I thought we had this feature like he's supposed to be like supposed to about, about kids in marriage and it came on the radio that he was sexting another love island a contestant. He said they weren't sexting, they were talking about cuddling. Boy bye. What do you mean cuddling? So you're cuddling we're, we're cuddling for friends, you know, I don't even know you. But I just feel he was definitely living the budget life of Chris Brown. But I just feel completely stupid and betrayed. Megan tried her best to stop being so emotional and she said I don't want to cry. Anna replied, it's clearly a very emotional situation. Megan said, it's just embarrassing like in front of everyone. I just wanted to find someone to come out and travel with and live with and make memories with so it's just a bit shit. In March this year, Megan reportedly branded her ex-boyfriend a scumbag over rumours he had been sexting Amber. I had no idea about this. This comes after Amber said during an interview in Capitura um, that she had been received messages too rude for radio from another islander. Amber didn't reveal that the person in question was Wes, but Megan was told by a friend that it was in fact him. Well, so too rude as in too explicit to be saying, wow, hold on, wow. I need to really get off my seat. I didn't know Amber was involved like this. Oh, Lord. No, this is ridiculous. Budget version of Chris Brown, like his, <laughs> his loving life. That's nothing instant. He's fit, like she is. Everyone knows Megan is fire. But the kitten here is like a shag on the outside. Wow, not Amber, the, the Amber that we love. Amber Davies from two seasons ago is involved in this triangle and was a catalyst in the break. I, I had no idea. Deep it. I had no idea. This is major, major madness right now. Not only is Megan going absolutely mad, crying on Slabs Go Dating, is ridiculously upset with what is going on with this particular date that she's on, but at the same time, she calls on the budget living Chris Brown. We also see Wes and Arabella, you know, now dating and we're seeing pictures of them in clubs and whatever, partying, living their best life. And we're also now being revealed, Megan is saying that Amber is involved. It was never really confirmed that she's involved, but Megan has now outright said that this individual has been involved, Amber Davies is involved, and she's in this picture as well. What a conundrum this is. 
what a calamity this is. This is ridiculous. This is what I'm saying. Love Island isn't over, beloveds, because we have all this mess going on from people from all different seasons. From Arabella in the current one, Megan in the last one, and Amber in the one before that. Everybody's all mixed up. They all know each other. They're all sleeping with each other. It is ridiculous. It's like an incestuous pot of madness. <laughs> Got it. That's it. Um, so what's what's your plan then? The plan of action now. Yeah, I need. Barry, you're not giving me much to work. What do you mean? What do you want to know? I do. I just. <laughs> and it really is just weird. I didn't expect Amber to be involved. I did not expect Amber to be doing the most like this. Amber Davies. Now, obviously, this was post Ken breakup, but at the same time, like, was she? texting and sexting Wes whilst Wes was with Megan and she knew that Wes was Megan and she's constantly talking to the person about cuddling and apparently Wes was saying things that were too rude for radio and too explicit to Amber and um, Amber Davies was obviously you know cooperating with all of this because obviously you are Wes is texting himself and she knew that he was with Megan but she's still doing this madness. Hopefully that, that's, this is the picture that I've painted, I believe that's what I, that's what I believe is happening, but perhaps Amber did not know, perhaps they broke up and they were on a break and then Amber kind of stepped in. Who knows, as far as I'm concerned, I wasn't really in love with Amber. More so the reason why Amber and Ken won was because everybody loved Ken. And I feel like there's a similar situation here. Greg wasn't somebody that we didn't like, but we didn't know him that long enough, but obviously Amber won because we've known her from day one. So what we're seeing here is an absolute mess. It's shocking, I'm living for it. The Islanders are all involved. Amber Davies is involved. Arabella is obviously doing this as a ploy, as I feel like from a management perspective. I feel like a lot of you guys are commenting that as well. They both are from the same management. We have to get into that. We have to kind of, you know, remember that. So perhaps this could be a publicity stunt. Perhaps this could be a publicity stunt. Do you guys think this is a publicity stunt? I believe it could be to keep the names in the air because I feel like, you know, we haven't really heard of Arabella for a while now. Let's not forget that. Think about it. If you actually deep it, since Amy Hart came out with the fact that, you know, Arabella was going into the villa and she, you know, gave bad information to Amy to make Amy feel bad about herself and, you know, X, Y, Z, and we were all upset and irritated and she kind of basically just blasted Arabella, drew her out on the loose woman, spilling all that tea and since she's done that, we have not seen Arabella in any interviews. I personally haven't seen it anywhere because when she got dumped from the island, she was everywhere, almost more than you one day. And I was thinking, what the hell is going on? Why is my girl getting so much interviews? She's only there for a week or two. What is going on? And since Amy drew her out on Loose Women, we haven't really seen much from my Arabella. It's like either she'd been blacklisted by so many of these places, or I feel like people are just irritated by what she was doing, breaking laws, and people have lost interest in her. But there seems to be a weird, coincidental, sharp kind of positive correlation between those moments peak that. So I feel like this whole situation with Wes will keep her name back in the limelight because I feel like if she wasn't dating Wes or you know holding hands with him in their clubs, it's as if whoever's taking these pictures, they know that their pictures have been taken. They're doing such convenient spaces. Coming out of super coming out of the supermarket, going into a cinema, you know, in the club together, holding each other, like it's such weird way, such they're all intimate settings. Um, Part of the supermarket. So I feel like since Amy drew her out, she's been blacklisted and now doing ones has brought her name back into the fame game. So I feel like that in itself is something that I feel like is going on. It's obviously pissed off Megan. Now, Megan is obviously doing so because this is going to draw attention for Celebs Go Dating. So they love that issue. They love the fact that this is going on so that we can all watch these videos and you know start to be tuned into that. And obviously, we also have Amber Davies now being involved because Megan has probably drew her, she just drew her out right now, spoke about it, and said that she was a catalyst. No, uh, she isn't the only catalyst because I feel like there was a girl for Dancing on Ice who also added to that. So perhaps there was cracks in the ice. Do you get it? Dancing on Ice, man. Dead joke. But cracks in the ice were surfacing between these two, you know, I would say like six months after their relationship because no one thought Wes and Megan would make it. No one thought that. And, you know, they were both laughing when, you know, Georgia broke up with Sam and what Georgia did and everything. It's about a Georgia and Sam still being together. You basically are Mystic Meg. Basically. No comment. Um, <laughs> He's surprised. The, mm, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. The nation. I'm not at all. But lo and behold, so much happened with those two as well. And then you know, Megan was upset because they had a hamster together. Like all of that madness that took place, it is just ridiculous. It's absolutely crazy. Let me know what your thoughts are on this whole triangle, square, pentagon, I don't even know, child, of just mess between all these islanders. What are your thoughts? Do comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. Do subscribe, click that button, and click the notifications bell. Please remember to click that button, that notification button, especially the notification bell, so that you guys know as soon as I upload a video, so you are first to watch it, and you don't miss out on any of my videos. Or just be sure to just go on my channel every other day if you 
don't get notifications for my videos so that you guys can definitely see if I've uploaded new videos because I most definitely have because I give you guys stuff every single day. So thank you guys for watching. Comment down below. Let's start a discussion. Comment, let's start a discussion. Comment, share, like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.